Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Bruce Swartz. Remember this structure from yesterday? Here's another one. Oh, <laughs> right in the same picture. Platform square with a cylindrical object on top. Copernicus, wow. More and more details are showing up. And now with the way I was able to clarify yesterday the surface, guess what? We're going to go see the Apollo 11 moon landing, supposed landing site area. Not right now, though. First, we're going to go see just underneath Eratosthenes Crater. Check it out. Gigantic hole. They call it a crater. It's not. Um, gigantic hole there. We're going to go see so many details of objects that we're seeing on the surface. And this is close to Earth side, and look how it's different. A lot more smokes and hazes. We're going to be able to compare this throughout the years. Look at the complexity in the construction, these objects. What's this? Look what's surrounding it. Objects in unison leaving side by side this gigantic, almost square-ish, or maybe cylindrical. It's symmetrical anyways. Even sides, almost a square on the surface, popping out and just a couple of miles from Eratosthenes Crater. Here it is in color, obviously meaning the exposure adjusted, no filtering whatsoever, close up Eratosthenes M, tiny, right there inside of the circle. Isn't that amazing? This is really astonishing to me. And this one's actually scary. You know, I'm posting a lot because Eratosthenes is over top there. And now, get this. You see the white part right there? Let's clarify that. Watch this. Same photo, but now we're going to take the processing to the white part. And guess what? Inside of the white areas, there are similar designs, you know, the same terrain. So the parts that we're not seeing that are white are like here right now. On the left, you can't see it. We're just seeing an inversion of it to see exactly what's there. And look at that. Entrances side by side in the center. There's a whole bunch of stuff up there. If you wanted to know exactly where we were looking at, it's right here, just underneath of Eratosthenes Crater. I've also shown between Copernicus and Eratosthenes Crater right here. The colors on the surface are completely natural. Here is Mare Serenitatis. Look at Bessel Crater and wow. You know, the greenery is really the surface itself. You know, the, the structuring, natural or not, is what is actually green. Now, this is just the beginning. I'm going to show you the uh, declared Apollo 11 landing site. Now, first of all, we're going to start doing like yesterday with the filtering and start checking out the surface. I already found an object. I'm seeing, you know, suspicious objects and whatnot. It doesn't look like at all what they showed us. Anyways, we're going to look at it. I'll get some music up and I want you guys to enjoy this. But again, you know, they landed right there. This is the area, you know, where they landed. And we're going to see a V-shaped, triangular shape standing up off the surface, an object, and many colors on the surface. How can you not appreciate that? The x-ray filter, like this, this is just the beginning. We're going to see it, and we're going to see it in different ways. I'll clarify the white part. There's many steps and processes that we'll go through, and I'm going to share them all with you. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hey, the weekend is finally here, and guess what? Next week is the last week before Christmas time off, meaning time off to do more videos and more details. Hey, the full moon, December 22nd, is coming up. Look at the center of this right here. Do you see the V-shape yet?
right there. And then we're going to see it elevated in, you know, three dimension. Look at the object just less than probably 20, 30 miles from where the declared Apollo supposed landing site is. Look at the square rectangular shape. So many anomalies on the surface that we can see and it's proof after proof that somehow, you know, ancient or not, the surface is or was manipulated, either actively visited, inhabited, or their ancient ruins, who knows? So, I mean, they would have landed right there, you know? So like, what is this?